Welcome back to video games. Today we're playing video games. Man, I got no time for video games anymore. Yeah, we don't got time for video games. We got trains to ride. But first, I must check if I have stuff. All right. Oh, what a beautiful day to be alive and everything. Oh, that tree's dead up there. Yeah, I mean, except for that tree. That's probably a problem. I'm feeling pretty good about being alive, but I, uh, there are problems here. What's your problem, pal? <gasps> Tree medicine? Hmm. The rainbow carnation? Carnation? Its pollen supposedly brings plants back to life. That sounds like a side quest. In super dangerous, far, high up, hard to reach places. I'm sure they'll be fine, though. Oh. Can we just paint it? Can we just, like, paint it green? I can paint it orange. And red. And purple. And blue. And look how colorful it is now, it's fine. And there's green, yeah. It's well, fine. It gives you a little piddly yellow, too. It's like, I'm dying, but here's some yellow. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I'm sure you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're fine. Okay, so we gotta go somewhere for that, but I don't know where we're going for that. Yeah, pff, not any time soon that I care about. Yeah, so we'll worry about that later, I guess. No, in my luck, it's either up there in that volcano area or down there in that forest area. Which I keep looking at that forest area and I keep thinking three side. Or three. Is it three? Three. Yeah. With the zombie circus thing. Yeah. I hope there's a zombie circus down there. Uh, listen, this is a game so far that we've met most of the Kooplings, and then there's a circus there. I'm pretty sure there's one there, and he's probably done terrible things, so... Maybe there's zombies. Yeah. The Mario and zombies. And actually, no, he's had the, uh, Super Mario Land, where he's had the Chinese zombie thing. I'd be happy with a couple dry bones. Or even the soggy guys. Well, as always... Funny how that works. Doing my best. Listen, it's been three months since Shiva Extreme popped. I think I'll take care of that now. <laughs> oh, you're just in time. Oh no, I couldn't make it. One of the pieces of the wood doesn't have paint on it. We can't go any farther. And the light is red. Beep beep. Not a rock slide. Way up the track. Can you at least, like, pull up and park here so they can get off the stupid train? So we've just been standing around, waving our arms and blinking rapidly. I mean... Well, yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Toads aren't really known for being productive. No or, wonder your kingdom keeps getting taken over. Yeah, proactive, but, yeah. Panic! Everyone panic! I'll stand here and wave my arms and blink rapidly as well. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Panic, he never solves. Oh, God! It's a starlight cape. <gasps> I want a big paint star. We're all doomed! Everyone panic! So panic! Everybody panic! Whew. Sorry about that. Yui, sometimes you will scare me. You're also kind of a stupid. I'm gonna hit it with my hammer. Well, I want to miss it. But first, I'm gonna paint this. Yeah, there's like a bunch of paint spots and everything, and I kind of want to get them. Oh man, right where the train's heading. The VIP who boarded at the Tangerino Grill already has his eyes on it, though. Uh oh. Ah. So bad things. Oh, time fight. to beat the crap out of him. Yeah, that's, my, that's my freaking star. I'm Mario. I get all the stars. What's he gonna do? Eat it? God. Well, he did eat at the grill, so. He's probably full. The Red Rescue Squad. The entire car. The sooner we clear out the rock slide, the sooner they can take a well deserved vacation. Get to work, you guys! But please, clear the rock slide first. How about no? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Hold it! <laughs> I know you want to smash my toes, but clear the rock slide first. Dang it. Oops. There's nothing else. I don't think we can do anything else up top anyway. 
Oh, I think you can sneak back in. Can't you? Oh, you can talk to them in here, I think. Staff holiday. There's Listen, trouble afoot. We would fight the evil overlord that wants to destroy all good and justice in the world, but this is a day off we scheduled, so... Look, gonna, I have to call it another day. I don't get back from my break for another ten minutes, so... Yeah, uh, you, you know, union rules and everything. <laughs> ah! This is some nice coffee they have here. The barista is like, just like a charred corpse and everything. <laughs> Break's done. <laughs> they even have free peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> I don't feel that bad about him. It's probably gonna have to wait for that train to go. I can make it, it's a fence. I can jump over fences. I'm Mario, damn it, I can jump shit. Yeah, what's up with this? All these games where Mario can't jump. You hit it. Except train. Listen, Kiwi, I will go on my own damn journey down the train tracks if I want to, thank you very what much. What if we get behind the train and push? And just have it ram into the rock slide? Huh. I think I would destroy the train before anything else. Oop. That's a big card. I think we already have some of those. Yeah, we do have those. But I will get another one anyway. Yeah, so. Let's just toss this really important card that we're gonna need. I hope you don't need two hammers. Oh, no. I know we like never use blaze hammers. It doesn't help they don't sell them. Or maybe they do now, but they never did. I never saw them. So it always feels like maybe we should save this one since we can't get another one easily. You never know when there's going to be a, you know, that one boss that hits you hard enough that you need to use your elixir, but it's still an elixir, man. You don't want to use it. Those things are rare and hard to find. I always found go even going up against the final boss, like, I save all this crap going, what am I? I but what? I should save it in case I need it. And then, like, I'm even fighting the final boss going, I don't want to have to use that if I don't have to. What if there's an emergency later? This is the emergency! You're fighting the final boss! That's a big mushroom. Yeah, that's actually a new card, too, so... Yeah, that's a really friggin' big mushroom. It doesn't even fit on the card. All those little starter cards... You got mega mushroom. mushroom. All those little starter cards feel so tiny now. Eh, eh, eh. I'd unfurl you if somebody would get off the goddamn box. But no, apparently I can't sideswipe the box either. Mario was only ever trained how to swing vertically. Well, how do you know that then? Well, I'm... <laughs> the very sight of a train dumbs the crushing emptiness I felt since I was a but a wee sport. Mario's kind of getting a little existential here all of a sudden. <laughs> Trains, they help you forget the emptiness that your life holds with you. Hey, Toads deal with problems, too. Mm -hmm. nah. <laughs> so, pretty sure we gotta unfurl that thing in order to get up there. Or maybe we're lucky and there's a painful block sitting over here. No, but I may suggest breaking that brick. Oh, flower. Huh. What, this brick? Yeah. Like, right now? Hold on. Right now? Hey, there's something in it. about this one? Hey, there's something in that, too. Alright, I guess that's it. Maybe yeah. we should go take care of this rock slide, I guess. Let me guess, it's this way? Just, just follow the tracks. I've been doing that. You just have paint spots everywhere that I need to clean up. You can't just put side stuff everywhere and expect me to beeline towards where I'm supposed to go. Oh. That's not oh, a rock that's our stupid thwomp! The one that crushed the train last time. I don't know if that's the same one or not, but... No, I think it's the same one. He's got that... Well, he might be a little thicker, but... You sure that's a rock? <laughs> Do you mind moving along? Move it, Pinhead! 
I'm just gonna roll sideways on top of you. Went, 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 went. Oh, like those friggin' blocks in uh, Mario 64 that just rolled around. Mm. Had the safe spot in one side of them. This guy starts just rolling down the road after us. I do like how you can see in the background it kind of looks like a train a bit. You can see like the cabin and then there's the boiler and the smokestack over there. I guess. And then there's the coal thing, the coal whatever. Oh, and then there's that also that uh, spot that looks like a card that's on all trains. Like the window or something. Oh, game's over. Oh wow. So we've got to get on the other side of this fence somehow. Which is requires us to get the unfurled block. So we gotta So now that we know it's a thwomp, we gotta walk all the way back. Hopefully the guy lets us hit the stupid block now. Mario, I was so panicked I have to be move over a little, a little bit. Just to make sure my toesies don't get smacked. Smack! Man, I stopped just at the right moment to see that little bit there. That would have driven us mad. Hmm. Where's this one spot? Video playthrough. We're at 99%! Everybody's bitching to Ogre. Ogre walked past it! Well, excuse me for enjoying the game and missing some stuff. I just want to have fun, damn it, and I appreciate your help and the help you want to give to everyone else. Thank you. <laughs> That's one thing I've been worried about is I feel like we we've been a little bitchy about the comments, but I don't want us to come off like we're bitchy bitchy about the comments. We're just kind of like it's not. It'll be helpful for the future, but you're not helpful for us now. But oof. But thanks for your help. Kind of thing. Well, it's we do an amount of like venting now and then, but like... Well, I'm never most, mad at the comments. Like for, well, well, it's for the most part, the comments are super helpful, and they're just trying to help, and I really yeah. appreciate that. And I don't want to discourage anybody from saying anything here and there, so even if we do say something, I I try to... Um, I try to kind of brush it off as... Oh, we're just kind of... I'm near last second, too. Oh, well, geez. Oh, it's the water tower on oh, a safe spot. Hey! Uh, I guess that means there's going to be an insta-death minigame coming up. We were done rolling all the logs. Well, that's fine. Go ahead and keep going. Bitch. Not my problem. That's more like it. Ah! 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 Use the megaphone. We're not using it for anything else. That one guy tripped, though. So we're missing a shy guy. Were there six? Pretty sure. You messed up, flesh face. Megaphone, cork. We're obviously not gonna need those things. I keep forgetting these things are switched to the point where we can just do that. With the buttons and everything. Alright, well, um, these guys are gonna have a bad time. Prepare to enjoy the comedy of Japanese humor. Wow. Oh, you wasted a replica. Oh no, whatever will I do with this bottle opener? <laughs> Wasn't that one like super violent or something? Yeah. Wrap, like it wraps I think it, around, like, wraps around and... the neck and it's like... <laughs> Jeez, Mario! And I think it does that for like all the enemies. Well, we'd best save. Yeah, because I, I have this feeling that somehow waking up a thwomp and pissing it off is probably not going to be a good thing for us here. Yeah, I saw that ladder. I don't know if... It, I feel like there's nothing we can do about it, but nah, I saw the ladder. It's just making sure there wasn't, like, a paint spot hidden over there. Though that windmill is a giant paint spot now. It's a paint spot. Damn it! There's a paint spot on the back of it. You'd never see it. Yeah. Anyway... Appreciative of the comments, just don't figure that we'll get to them and everything. As long as you don't give us spodlers, and then we won't have troubles. Yeah, if like if we vent, I can spodle myself all the, all the way anyway. So, no, like if we vent, if we vent at all, it's about like little stuff that's not anybody's fault per se. It's outside of anybody's control. It's just like silly stuff that we talk about that comes with the territory. Also, I'd like to say I like that are all. I hate to say it like this, but I, 
I like that our audience is small enough that it, I can go and read the comments and not be kind of like... Oh, we gotta get on the other side. And not be quote-unquote disgusted by the comments and everything. Well, we've been... I will say, I've, we've been doing this for long enough, and between, like, encouraging people in the comments and talking oh, about certain a, subjects... I'm gonna check up ahead. This is a bad idea, because there's gonna be a megaphone and a pissed-up thwomp, and we have tracks over here. I'm assuming we're gonna have to run around. But, like, through all that time, we've... I feel like we've cultured a group of... A group that's a really nice group of people. I'm grateful for it. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's like... I hate to say it's small, but it's just nice to know that we have a nice group of people who aren't gonna randomly spout stupid stuff on and it's comments. And not, it's not necessarily even size. Because, um... I mean, you can get small communities that are still kind of low, but... No, we got... We got a nice group of people. And we're, and we're grateful for it. Does nobody really see the bad idea in this whole thing? Mario, maybe you shouldn't stand next to it. Thwomps have two sta- have two stages. Asleep and ticked the crap off. Where'd it go? It just went up. Yeah. That just means it can come back down. I'm gonna go around this way. Don't make us do it, Huey! <laughs> you know there's Don't gonna make be us a... do it! <laughs> you know there's gonna be the thwomp there. Is there, like, another way I'm supposed to get around? I'm supposed to sneak around here? Please do not stop me in the spot where a thwomp You're was just asleep. You're stopping me! You've stopped me under the thwomp! Well, that's cool! Good news, Mario! Terrible news, Mario! Good news, Mario! <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, shit. Move. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> so how about that insta-game over minigame? <laughs> Yay! I get it again this time, mother... That's even more awkward. <laughs> it's you, Larry. Thanks for the steak, asshole. I was the VIP who just went by. The jerk. Well, that was close. That monster. We <laughs> cooked him a steak. A delicious steak. The best steak he'd ever eaten. <laughs> the VIP hijacked the engine as soon as they heard we were heading towards Starlight Cape. That also explains why he had his eye on it. Just hit the handle with your hammer hard. You well, got it. I would, but there's paint spots back there, so. Damn it. I don't think you can go back that way anyway. You'd have to like jump up over it and then head to the left. And whether or not you even can do that. Oh no, I can. You can just like go back up through the thing and everything. Like, there's no problem. It's just that there's spots there that you can't get right now because you have to finish the level. Well, let's worry about them later then. A rude, very important person? Now, why would that happen? Yeah, yeah, we heard you the first time. I'm just gonna hoof it. 
I don't know, I can run really fast if I want to. I don't know, you were booking pretty good on your own there, Toad. Why do I have to start? Oh no, never mind, he's going. <laughs> Jump it, Mario! Are you serious? It's a, it's a train, there's a lot of wind, I just get caught in the air. Look, it's right there, you can just reach up and grab it. Just get on the stupid train. Later, asshole. Wee. I'll just be here, working real hard. Oh, never mind, I'm here. And... Come back around. Just go in the stupid door. <laughs> well, thanks for folding out the side of the car. Mm, this is probably bad. Oh, hey, the assholes were on oh, vacation. Oh, yeah, that's right, the Red Rescue Squad were in here. Hi, Jack. Toad number one of the Red Rescue Squad reporting for duty. So we got the Red Rescue Squad in here. They don't. They haven't been doing much to help us out other than, like, making bridges. I'll report back to Port Prisma HQ until further notice. Wait, stay here, assholes, I need your help. Bye. Bye. Hold under the wheel. The train's not even that long. Uh. 41. 41. That's a lot of red toads. So, I can't let the shy guy see me for... Yep. Eh? Eh? No, nope, nothing there. Eh? Dang it! No! Oh! 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 Nine. I think he's ten, waiting for us to go. Twelve. So he can get caught. Yeah, he's he's just going. Up. Oh. Oh, we probably oh. needed to come oh, in he's there. Oh, he's teabagging <laughs> Rude. Very rude. Oh, jeez. Oh. Hi. And a mariachi guy. This is... This is problems. It's a six-string power surge. This is why Bard is an important component to every party. Dang it. The Sombrero guy. Oh, Sombrero have we, guy. Have we seen him yeah, in they were in this uh, game? No, we haven't seen them yet, I think. You rang. <laughs> Get it? Because I got boomerangs. Uh, I'm funny. I'm going to murder you. Jeremy, why have you betrayed us? Mario showed me friendship, and it's pretty great, guys. Hmm, it turns out you don't have to be a massive douchebag. Oh, these squeak hammers probably work just like the spring jumps, where they actually do less damage than their counterpart. Ooh, oh! Forgot the backspin. Time to power them up even stronger. Oh, or heal us. Or that, I guess. And he ran away. Oh, thank heavens. The performance was exhausting. Well, at least it's now just two boomerangs. Yes, we still might be hard. Seriously, stop. <laughs> the train ride's kind of exhausting as it is. Yeah, so I don't know if it made it into a video or not last time, but we discovered last time that the... What is it? The... Pop slipper? Kind of sucks. Yeah. Like, it's really good when you're trying to hit an enemy that like a stacked enemy that you need to hit multiple times, but if you just want pure damage, it actually does less damage than just a regular boom. 
And so I'm willing to bet the, um, the e camera is yeah, the, camber. the same deal. Oh, that's a lot of paint. Can you just jump on him? Gotta get out of the way. I got shit to grab in here. Oh, yay. Number two. Okay, you did it. Cool. Are you close to go on me? Can you jump on the sides? <laughs> How's that shit, asshole? Can you jump at all? What, in here? Yeah. I was gonna see if you could jump on the... Let's see if any stuff was on the... Oh, no. I think I got everything. All right. You know we're gonna get on top of the train at some point. Yeah, with an unfurl block up there. Oh, this should be easy. Oh no, just... fuzzy. However, will I deal with these terrible, terrible creatures? Ooh, and paint. I think I jumped on one. I'm not sure how. It's like I hammered it, and just at that moment, it would threw me up in the air enough to be considered a jump. Don't forget to check your luggage. Okay, it's not working. <laughs> Paint hammer. That'll solve the problem. Works enough for me. Oh, you know terrible things are gonna happen because there's no windows. Dang it. Was it a mouse? Slurp guy. It's a shun guy. Get back over here and die. Oh. Good enough. Good enough. Oh, thank heavens. There's more than one shun guy. That alone is terrifying. I think we've hit three at this point. Yeah, I think that was our third. Though so we killed it with a hammer, so... Yeah. It probably still counts as much as a regular shot guy. Okay, train. Now that barrel's up to something, I know. Ah, it's an unfurl barrel. Well, when, once we get the unfurl block, however it is that we do that. Not a jammed door. Quick, get the toast. Nope, I need a toaster. Dang. I wonder if I can jump off the tree. I ain't gonna oh, yeah, I ain't gonna try that. It'll probably send us all the way to the back. Okay, so we are gonna have to wait. I'm gonna, yeah, go ahead. What? Go back out. Is there a ladder? See if you can hit the button. No, that's that. That's the thing. Now hit the button. What I forget button? what the button is. That button. Oh, that button. The button that we never remember oh, exists. Yeah. I knew there was something suspicious about those weird colored blocks. Maybe it was just for the aesthetic. Could have been. But I'm not buying it, motherfucker. Yeah, but this is a video game with mechanics in it that have been established. Monkeys. Gotta run. I gotta jump. Gotta get on top of the train and do ah, stuff. Ah, ah. Split the pole. Stupid are we fighting both like of them? We are! Ooh. Oh. That makes things a little more dramatic. Yes. Very dramatic. Is a six string surge? Um. They're all reasonably weak. 
So it's not like we had the boomerang, guys. But, like, if you use a line jump, it only hits the guy in back once, doesn't it? You can hit everybody else. Twice. Well, whatever happens, they're not. Oh, he leaves for that, too. He's smart. And it doesn't hit the Koopa. Well, at least this Koopa's gonna have a bad time. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the crap out of here. We'll get that shrunk some real good. Really? That was just... Maybe it was both of them. No, it wasn't. It was just one of them. There's four of them. Oh, the lid's like yellower now. Maybe. Oh, jeez. Tired of your crap, sombrero guy. I wonder if he used a thing card, he actually leaves for that. Okay, so we know power blocks are useless. Line jumps have been pretty good just for the sheer number of them. Like a double move? Alright, line jump and then four boots. If any of you lives through this. So that card should kill those two, and that means that last... We're gonna kill the Sombrero guy. Notice how their corpses eh. try to... He's got a lot of defense. I mean, I guess he's holding up his... Oh, so close. He was holding his guitar up as defense, so, like, I guess jumps don't hurt him as much. Maybe you want to hit the sombrero guy with, uh... Hammers. Yeah, they do change yellow. Yeah, they're orange and they change yellow. No, he just blocks no matter what. Yeah, some burger guy blocks no matter what. You're just... It's just supposed to be really friggin' hard to kill him. Ow. Sure. So how do you kill him? Fire? for the fire flower. Is 
It's not fair, yo. I think maybe the idea was to leave something alive so it sticks around for a round. Yeah. That's not fair, yo. Sombrero guy just leaves if you attack him with anything that could conceivably hit him. Or maybe you're supposed to kill him here. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, because now it's just him. It's been the same Sombrero guy all this time. It's a six string power up, sir. Because any if you use anything like a power block or a fire flower, honestly, probably a thing card would do it too. He just leaves. And then if you hit him with anything else, he blocks it with his guitar. If you managed somehow to kill him early, I wonder if he still would have been here waiting for us at the end. I don't know. That would have been an interesting thing. Because I feel like the intention was that it was always that same guy helping you. Or helping them. It might have been, because if you remember in Sticker Star, they actually pop up in the background. They're in the background, and when you fight something else, they'll actually pop in to join the enemy, too, mm. so... Well, nothing here. Except this stupid little pattern that won't go down. Oh, it's so tough. Hello. Alright, you can feel me now. Got it. Later! We'll see you at some point. And we're off! Thankfully, we killed everything. <laughs> Dang it. Although we could have done that one thing everybody keeps telling us is where... <coughs> excuse me. Where you can hit people with the unfurl block and kill them instantly. I'm yeah. just not good at that timing, honestly. Well, it's hard... when, Especially when you're under a time limit, it's hard when the enemies are also all... That same deal. gets me here. I'm hoping we get a Sombrero Guy card. Let's <laughs> see what I can get in the power on this battle spin here. Keep up. I'm not gonna use it on him, but some thing cards would be nice. It'd be nice to see if he can get hit by it, but we'd want to wait until like there's more guys there too. An iron jump hurt. 